what is up guys it's time for dylan back at it again with another crypto video thank you guys for tuning in you guys are awesome if you're new here subscribe bell icon get notified when i post new videos because it's all time sensitive in today's video we have none other than quentin one of the co-founders behind this awesome music ecosystem that is launching starting out with cardano so he's going to tell us all about this project and if you guys haven't heard about it yet it's called sound rig so quentin how's it going Tell us a little bit about this project. And then after that, maybe tell us how you got into crypto. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much, Dylan, for having us on. Uh, as, as you said, uh, my name is Quentin. I'm one of the co-founders along with Tobias and Sunny. Uh, so what we're doing is, is a really ambitious project, but we think it's something that's very needed in the, the ecosystem. Uh, we're starting with a media player, which we actually launched on the 31st of July. And so that's that's going to facilitate people to listen and interact with their music in a much more familiar way, similar to something you'd see on iTunes or YouTube music. Uh, and we are then going to be putting up a, a launch pad for musicians and a marketplace and uh, creating kind of a whole new music ecosystem for musicians in and out of Web3 to kind of benefit from. So a lot of it, a lot of what we're doing is also focusing on onboarding musicians and uh, getting the music community really present uh, under kind of one 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 banner and bring big change to the uh, the music industry, uh, be a big disruptor. And uh, going going with your your second part of that question, how I got started with crypto. Um, I mean, it started with everything. Uh, it started the same way, kind of everyone get started you know you can make money whatever you start as an amateur investor then you just get it snowballs and you start it takes over your life and uh yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah so so that that's how i got started and then uh september of last year i got um i got interested in nfts and i thought it was really crazy how some people were putting like two weeks of, of work into a project and making a million bucks because last week last uh, september in uh on cardano 10k PFB projects were selling out in an hour. Yeah, and, I remember it, the good old days, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was crazy. And so I was like, I, I could do something like that. So I I thought, you know, I, I about stupid ideas. Uh, uh, one idea I was thinking of was like 3D baby animals in a bathtub. I don't know, I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but ultimately I decided, no, I want to do something of value, something that could be a big impact. And uh, so I'm a classically trained violinist. I have eight years of violin training and uh, not recent. It was when I was younger. I, yeah. I quit. Oh, okay. I, but uh, I always wanted to make music and I always found the programs too confusing. So I started another project and uh, basically that was been a, a painful journey over the last year, which served as really good kind of business experience and uh, a really steep entry learning curve. Uh, into getting familiar with running a project, uh, budgeting, and, and basically all aspects of projects. And um, then uh, I did a, a fundraiser when the war in Ukraine started, and that was actually with Tobias. Uh, it was called Cardano for Ukraine, and we had six musicians perform. It was a, you, we raised funds by selling a um, NFT, or FT, I guess, fungible token, um, concert ticket. And all the funds were sent to charity. Uh, it was a, a really good charity helping out in Poland. And uh, so I met Tobias that way. And then two uh, uh, two or so weeks later, I pitched the idea of Soundrig to Tobias. And he was like, you would not believe it, but someone else pitched me almost the exact same idea to me this week. And uh, so that's how I met Sunny. Because wow. we just said... Yeah, we set up a, a meeting and it was incredible. So Sonny has been working on this idea for uh, since 2011. He started a business and then uh, basically the idea was ahead of its time. There wasn't the tech in, in place. And then uh, he shelved his company because uh, it wasn't viable. And then he was involved with Endmaker. Uh, Tobias is involved with Endmaker and that's how they got, uh, they got together and then yeah, we just met up and we were like, wow, I have a white paper, you have a pitch deck, and they are almost identical. So yeah. that's how the project got started. Wow, very cool. 
Very cool. And very interesting. I love when projects, the founders of projects actually have like a passion for the actual idea behind the project. So that's pretty cool. Like you're actually a musician, you know, Sonny actually trying to create something. Now it's all coming together. You did mention that you wanted to create some type of media player. Um, and I saw on your website that you have some type of, I don't know if it's a beta test or just an example of a media player that looks super cool. So why don't you tell us about that? So, so yes, uh, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, so we got, we're like super excited. It's a, it's our MVP uh, of the media player. We plan to update it, add multiple features in, but currently if you go to soundrig.io, you can connect your wallet and it will play uh, all of your music NFTs. We've also uh, done a feature, which is a demo, a demo player. And every month musicians can send in a copy of their, their music to our ETA handle, which is Soundrig Demo. And um, that's gonna be the next month's kind of uh, demo tracks. So currently we have 104 tracks in our demo demo player and it only it only displays 10 randomly selected um uh tracks every time you refresh the player but there's a total library already i mean there's a huge music community not a lot of people know that yeah we already so have, crazy yeah we have 104 tracks on our demo uh player but uh one of the really cool things about our media player is we've actually developed a system to encrypt your uh your nfts so a big thing for Web2 musicians is uh, piracy. And when you go to pool.pm and you listen to all your friends' music because you know their wallet, that is a form of piracy. Because yeah. you didn't pay for the music. So we've done, and we have a test uh, using uh, Nito's track, Hold On. We did a tester, and it's for what we are calling the NFTs we will be publishing. They're going to be called Tunes, so T and 3. Okay. And and that's gonna be uh, Web3 tunes. And they're gonna be encrypted NFTs. So you go to pool.pm and nothing works. But then wow. you bring it to then you bring it to our, our media player and boom, all of a sudden you've got video, you've got audio, you've got your visual, and you got lyrics, you got any additional content that the musician wants to put in. So we've I already like that. that system's already in place. Like the test is there and it works you can check our wallet id and uh the neato track if you go to pull.pm there's a lyric file that you download and it will give you an invalid file and if you you can't play the audio and you can't even see that there's a video so <laughs> it's yeah that, that is honestly i think that is what's going to set your guys platform apart from other platforms that are trying to do the same thing so congrats to you guys that's pretty awesome you were telling me that SoundRig right now has three different catalyst proposals. Why don't you tell us about those? Yeah, so okay, we actually got four. We went oh, above four of them. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. We, we went uh, we went big time for these proposals. So that's what's up. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, as I said, a big thing that we're trying to do is kind of get musicians under one umbrella. So uh, and from Web two and Web three. So three of the proposals are in that that medium so we have a cross-chain proposal because one of the goals for our media player and it's one of the the next phases is actually we're going to be integrating support for multiple wallets as well as like metamask so you can end up getting people from ethereum from you oh know, wow from, from chronos and they can all be listening to their music on our media player and that's one of our next steps and so that's for cross-chain collaboration is trying to get it get these other blockchains all involved with our with our media player and obviously they'll be exposed to all of our cardano musicians so then in terms of uh getting web 2 artists we also have growing uh, a proposal in uh growing africa as well as growing asia east asia and those are centered around uh establishing uh you know, um, programs in these countries where we have ambassadors. Uh, we already have ambassadors in multiple countries like uh, South Africa, Nigeria, Indonesia, and they're all heavily involved with the, the music communities over there. And they're helping us bring in talent from the communities uh, and get them exposure to Web3. So um, these proposals are all geared towards helping and facilitating that process. 
And then obviously we have a big proposal in the DAPS uh, product products and integrations uh, problem, because I mean, we're building a, a massive DAP. So yeah, so that's a big one more focused on uh, the technical side of things and how we are going to be uh, progressing in our roadmap. But yeah. How exciting. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm, I got to tell you, I was so excited when I went on to your website and I saw that player and I saw that you're able to play the song right there. Even though there's just demos, I'm super excited. And now that you're telling me that there's going to be cross-chain compatibility, this is great. I always say that one of the big things about crypto, I think that the future is for sure, is cross-compatibility. So you guys already have that box checked. You guys are already living in 2040. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we, we feel the exact same way. I mean, that was one of the first things when I met up with Sonny and Tobias and said, I want to be very clear from the get-go, this has to be cross-chain compatible. Uh, I mean, the goal is that our marketplace is going to be cross-chain compatible, uh, but the easiest thing to initially get get that cross-chain compa compatibility and that kind of, uh, you know, mixing of the blockchains is the is the media player because uh, it's a relatively easy process to set up. I mean, easy, uh, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's it's one of it's the easier of the two to to get going. And uh, yeah, we are so excited to, to start seeing some action going on there. That is awesome. You know, so you did mention um, about your roadmap. So I'm, I am curious, what is the next step in your roadmap? Um, Tell so us what you have working right now and what's next, uh, you know, in the short term, medium term, and then long term. Yeah, I can't, long term, there's some things I can't talk about. I'm super, like, just because it's it's not announced yet but I'll, I'll give you some briefness okay so okay. short term we got for the media player uh the thing that we're looking at doing is uh playlists so you'll be able to make a playlist out of the nfts in your wallet and and then you won't just have let's say like 100 nfts um all going you can do your edm whatever um then we're also going to be doing profiles so you can have multiple wallets uh, so let's say you have songs between five different wallets, you associate that profile with those five different wallets. I think... Uh, oh, okay, that makes sense. I think cnft.io does that, where yeah. you can have multiple wallets. Yeah, so a similar concept. And then all your NFTs with music files would be displayed in one media player. And obviously the, the penultimate goal is that it's cross-chain compatible. Um, Mid-August, we're aiming to release uh, a small sample approximately five musicians uh in our launch pad and those will be tuned so they will be our nfts that are encrypted and have additional content and then at the end of august we're aiming to have a huge kind of blowout where we have uh, a ton of, of web 2 musicians that we're onboarding the rest of our web 3 musicians as well as we have a couple projects uh already signed up to launch with us so uh, okay. short, short term, we got a lot coming up and a lot in the next, you know, four weeks even. Um, we're also looking at tackling a lot of things related to barriers to entry. So like minting, um, trying to figure out solutions for that to, to, to make it as simple as possible. We are developing a program that will be kind of like, like Fiverr. Uh, so musicians will have a, it's not going to be open to the public. It's only going to be open to the musicians and artists, so graphic artists or visual artists, and they'll be able to connect to collaborate so that our Web2 musicians will have easy access to qualified uh, artists. And we actually, we've already partnered with one university, the University of Bedfordshire, but our goal is to uh, partner with universities around the world to offer accredited programs to their last year students in media studies and graphic design and their art programs so that they can earn like their final project will be making an nft with a, a web two musician <laughs> and uh we're doing a stream to earn service that i can't discuss but it's it's something's happening and it's not like spotify well uh, stream to earn yeah so um, I want to hear about that. We're going to have to bring you back on to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Uh, and one of our main goals uh, in the short term uh, is to actually have real life events. So for instance, at CNFTCon, we're gonna be helping out with uh, the kickoff party. We're gonna try and get some kickoff party, sorry. Uh, yeah. Try and get some musicians in there. And uh, we also want to do kind of a Web3 music festival and involve all blockchains, musicians, whatever, uh, and just kind of celebrate music and Web3. So we got a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's more I'm not even touching on. So yeah. yeah, nice. Well, yeah, it sounds like you guys got that got that roadmap planned out to the T. So I'm super excited. Um, thank you so much for coming on. You know, you really laid out everything about this project. Uh, I'm super excited about it. I'm sure everyone watching is going to be super excited. Um, is there anything that you want to say before I let you go? Uh, just, what is it? Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Hey, there it is. Well, <laughs> thanks so much. Uh, don't forget, guys, I'm going to post all the links to the um, Catalyst proposals down below, as well as the link to the website. So you guys can go check that out. But thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night, wherever you guys are. Dylan is out.